Hello, Obama here. It's gonna be a tutorial on how to create a mini map for your map. Now I'm just gonna use this map as an example because I don't have a mini map for this. You can use this even if the current map that you're using doesn't have a map, such as most jailbreak maps don't have a mini map. So I'm just gonna use this. So what you do is first you're gonna want to turn on SVG. So make sure you have console enabled. And then you want to type in bot. What is happening? Uh, it's not cute. Quote huh? <laughs> zero. This gets rid of the bots. So you see, there's go, no go. bots now. You don't need that. Now you want to type in hide panel all r skybox zero fog override zero cl draw hood zero. Fog enable zero. Uh, if you have net graph on, then you're gonna want to turn that to zero. Uh, you can use a setting called uh, uh, R draw static props zero if you don't want thing static props to appear. So in this case, I'm gonna have it on because yeah. So next. Uh, you're gonna want to type in. Uh, you want to get a no clip to a good spot on your map. So I'm just gonna no clip this way, and let me just turn on my hood real quick. And at the top left, see my my radar, that little arrow. I want to look that way, and then I'm going to turn it back off. Uh, then you're going to type in CL level overview and you're going to just put in 10. If you got a big map, put in 10. Uh, see, then next is CL level overview marker and turn this t uh, to 1024. Just like that. Now you want to get yourself into a nice position, and as you can see, with this, uh, I'm moving. So uh, forward is north, backward is south, left and right. So what you want to do is you want to put your entire map inside of this red border. Now you see there's a teleport up here to the Nether. If you want to add that, you can. Things like uh, the vents, we can get rid of later. Things like that, uh, or for jailbreak specific maps. Things you want to touch up. So, as you can see, I can't get the nether, so I'm going to increase the number to 15. Now I have the nether, let's change it down to 13, 12, 11. Ah. Uh -huh. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna change it to a decimal now, 0.5, and now it looks really good. So, try not to get it to be less less pixely. So, you want to just inch your way around. As, as you can see over here on the left side, there's a uh, sort of lines through stuff. A lot of lines through stuff. So you might want to move around a little bit, try and get a good position because this is exactly the way it's gonna look. So it doesn't appear I can't like remove that effect. At least not with without modifying the picture. So I'm just going to use that. Now I have a special uh, uh, program that I can use called uh, Giazzo right here I have it on my task bar now I can just make a picture out of this just like that I'm not going to not yet but I will right here and you're gonna want to take your, make your picture 1024 by 1024 so I'm gonna use this just because it's easier for me. Next, now that you took your picture, you want to take note of this here. 
position X, position Y. Copy and paste that. Make sure you got it so paste it in there. And then save it somewhere. Like save it on your address bar and on a website or something. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to print the screen or somehow you need to get this picture. So next, go to uh, your paint program. I'm going to use paint.net. Use Photoshop or paint. Uh, you can't, cannot use the uh, regular Windows paint. So you're going to have to use this. Uh, expand canvas. So basically, paste your print screen into a new picture. Got mine here. Then, using your magic wand tool, set the tolerance to zero. And you want to make sure you look at it a little bit. Let's see, zoom in. As you can see, the nether's kind of black. So I'm going to fix that up real quick. Uh, uh, so I'm just going to, let's see, use the color picker here. I'm actually going to draw a rectangle around, uh, around the, uh, the nether here. So you can't really see it, um, but it's there, I think. <laughs> see here solid color all right so it, it's probably there so uh, you want to take your magic wand tool no it's not there ah uh, that's why I didn't have it selected all right so you want to draw a rectangle around the area of your 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 uh, what's it called? Your nether or other areas like this that are dark on the background, and just copy the outside area. Now I'm going to remove that rectangle later. Uh, zoom out. So now I got a nice border around the map. So bring out your eraser, set the brush width pretty high, and just remove everything. You want everything to be transparent. Transparent. That's good. Uh, next, you're going to zoom in on any type of things you want to modify. So as I said about the lines earlier, you, you could fix that if you have the Photoshop capabilities. Right here would be a a uh, a room that appears to be messed up so that's also a vent so I'm just going to remove that from the mini map there's no need for that to be on the mini map it's a vent gonna remove the rest of it and as you can see there's some abnormalities abnormalities ah uh, crap there's some problems here with the the edges here, there's like pretty pixelated liney. So I'm just gonna fix that too. You can do that with the rest of your map. Next, you just save it. So I'm not gonna worry about the outline and the gray thing, so I'm just gonna save it. So what you wanna do is you wanna save as uh come on, undo, undo, undo <laughs> You want to save it as a DDS, DDS, Direct Draw Surface. Uh, I'm going to save mine here. i uh, going to call it just anything because it's temporary. At least this one. Uh, you want to save it as the name of your map. Let's see, this map's called Minecraft. Gerald Beta. So I'm going to save it as that. JB Minecraft Beta. I'm going to save it as that. 
save. Alright, now we should be done with the Photoshop for now. So I'm going to load up my VTF edit. If you don't have VTF edit, get it, because you need it. You should probably already have it. And you're going to need to have a way to pack your your map into your BSP, or else people won't be able to use it. So load your VTF edit. And then import your DDS in here. Or you could just drag and drop it, I believe. Or not. Alright, so import, control I, go to your your folder, which has your .dds, open it, save, looks good, looks good, um, then you want to save as, go to your CSGO, materials, and then if you don't have a folder called overviews, create one, overviews, in your materials, overviews, and save this as the map name, JB Minecraft Beta V3-5, save. Now you want to do the same thing again, but save it as as the name with an additional underscore radar at the end. Save. Now go to new, control N, and your VTF edit. Now you're gonna have to, I'll, uh, I'll give you a, in the description you can copy and paste this or you can try to copy it from the actual video, but you wanna de uh, delete all of that and paste this in to your this text here and you want to get rid of this your map name and it's JB Minecraft beta v3-5 and you want that to be where your your base texture is and since this last one is uh, you want to save it as the uh, the normal one then you want to do the same thing with the radar underscore radar and save this one as your radar one so minecraft radar and save it All right. good you're done with that part now exit out of this um, go to your, your CSGO folder then go to your resources folder go to overviews now you want to create a text file in here you can copy and paste the other text files so I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna click copy paste I'm gonna rename it to JB underscore Minecraft oops beta version 3-5 save it as your map name go into it so you edit it change this to be the actual map JB underscore Minecraft Beta B3 5. You want to modify this to be the map too. Paste. Uh, then this is where the position X and position Y comes in handy. You want to load that up. So mine is negative. 1484 position y is 6385 the scale I used 
is 11.5. Zoom by default doesn't really appear to work on CSGO. So, you can tinker with this, but out of all the tinkering I've used, it doesn't appear to do anything. So you save that, then back to your original uh, DDS file, copy that, and paste it in here. Rename it as underscore radar, just like that. And this is only to be, you have to put this in your map file, your BSP, and so it to work. Save that. Next, just uh, load the map back up. You might want to get rid of all this, so you can just uh, delete, or uh, close your game and restart it. Level overview zero. Boom. CL draw hood one. And as you can see on the top left, I got a my mini map working. Now it's a little bit off. This is where you come in and modify things. So one easy thing is to go to the far end corner of your map and as you see it's kind of off so remember look up at north I need to go down which is your Y so you want to increase the number and that looks pretty good on the X so let's increase this by hammer units I'd say that's about 480 let's go that so just load the map up again. And then go to that same spot, see how it works. Uh, a little bit more. You want to go to the other far end too, because even though you just changed that one, I don't ha know how to perfect make this really perfect, but this is uh, the best I can show you. But as you can see, it's not too perfect over here either. So let's see here. Make that 7 1. Lock and load. Then we can go back over here. Now we're far farther away, but if we go back to the other corner. It appears to be perfect. Dead on. So that's up to you to determine the perfect measurements on your mini map. I can't really provide you much detail after that. I don't really know how, but there's no mini map tutorials for CSGO, and using that DDS file, you have to use that with CSGO now. So remember. One corner might work perfectly, but when you get to the other corner, it's a little bit off. As you can see right here, it's pretty off. Uh, basically, the further away from the center, the more away you are on your mini map. So that's how you make a little mini map. You can do that with any map, even maps that don't have mini maps. And they'll work 